In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very exciting tutorial on MOF transition. Uh, for example, I've taken the introduction of my team. I've created a slide where I've put the images of all the employees. So you can see here, I've put a different images of different sizes. And what happens when I click, each image will get enlarged and the information will reveal like the name, the position or some extra details related to that particular employee. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here this image gets enlarged and you can add the employee name here, the position or some detailed text. And you can see here the background, the other images get blurred. When I click, it goes back. You can see here again, all the images are visible. And on my next click, the next image will get enlarged and it will give the details. So let me just show you. So you can see here, this is the chief executive officer and you can add some more details here. Again, it goes back and again, some more employee information will come here. You can see you can add different, different shapes here. Okay. And again, it goes back again, all the uh, images are visible the next one this particular employee you can add the name and details here so likewise you can just do for the rest of the employees or whichever shape you want you can just add it here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial and before we start i have used the morph transition which is available only in 2019 and office 365 version and if you are using the older version like 2016 13 or 10 then the morph transition is not available so i request you to uh, kindly upgrade the PowerPoint to the latest PowerPoint version. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes and from the rectangles, I'm going to select the rectangle, draw one rectangle, maybe this much size and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any dark color or any color of your choice. You can uh, select it. So go and make it align center and align middle then go to insert shapes i'm going to draw some oval shape depending on the requirement so hold the shift key so you can see here one i'm going to make it this much size maybe here and shape outline make it no outline and then press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key again so again ctrl d i'm just going to add some random objects or the circles here you can see here control d i'm just going to add one here and one more i'm just going to add a bigger here so you can see here control d so let me just add and few more smaller one i can add it just for the beautification purpose all right so these are some uh, oval shapes i have added now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the images uh, inside this oval shapes for that i need to go to the first select any oval shape right mouse click go to the format shape and here you can see a picture or texture fill. You have to just click on this. And here I have by default, I have used this uh, image. So that's the reason it is coming. Or I can just simply go to insert from file or online pictures, whatever you have, you can just choose from your local PC. So I can just click from a file and add the images on each uh, oval shape. So you can see here, I've added all the images uh, within these circles. And then I'm just going to give some random colors for this small uh, oval shapes for the beautification purpose. Let me just give some light colors here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this slide, right mouse click and duplicate this. And for this, I'm going to use the transition effect, which is the morph one. So first of all, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge this particular image so that the details will appear. So the rest of the images, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select, go to the format. You can see the artistic effect and I'm going to blur it. 
so that only this, uh, the photo which we are going to enlarge should be visible. And here if you go down under this, uh, you can see here the effects, I'm just going to make it uh, 25 so it is more blurred, you can see here. So let me just select each one. The problem is I cannot select multiple one and I can do the, the artistic effects. I have to do it one by one. So that's the limitation we have in PowerPoint. You can see here. Let me just select one by one. And this is also the last one. Then what I'm going to do is again, I'm just going to make it 25. So it is more blurred and we cannot see it properly. You can see here let me make it 25 this also i'm going to make it 25 all right now i'm going to hold the shift key increase the size and make sure that this is bring to front and in the previous slide also i have to say bring to front all right so now let me just go to this increase the size and i'm going to place it somewhere here i can increase further okay something like this you can see here so if I do a slideshow, so you can see here, it looks something like this. Can you see here? So now I'm just going to add some shapes. I'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle, draw a rounded corner rectangle, make it less curve. I'm going to give maybe a kind of orange and send this to back. Shape outline, make it no outline. And then I'm going to give a detail here. I'll just say a message from for example a ceo i'm going to use some good font maybe ala if you don't have that font you can just choose any good font all right so and then i'm going to add some detailed text here all right let me just center align white font and i'm just going to paste it here okay so let me just do the slideshow again when I click it comes something like this can you see here so now this has to go back to the original form so what I'm going to do the first slide I'm going to duplicate this again duplicate the slide you can see here and bringing bring it down to the slide which we have added here okay and for this also I have to give a morph transition so it goes back you can see here so let me just show you for a clear understanding so this is my first slide when I click, it goes to the second slide with the message from CEO. And again, on my next click, again, it goes back here. You can see here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this slide again. And here I'm going to blur the images. Maybe I'm going to increase the size, enlarge this image. So I'm going to select this, go to format. And I'm going to start giving one by one the same artistic effect. You can see here. Let me just do one by one. As I said, I cannot do it all together. All right. And then again, this also I'm going to make it 25. So it is not at all clearly visible. This also 25 and this also 25. And I'm going to select this and bring this to front and the previous slide also i have to say bring this to front and when i'm going to select this increase the size you can see here and i'm going to add one shape the same thing or i can just select the rounded corner rectangle and i'm going to put the information something like this shape outline you can give maybe green color sorry shape fill you can give a green and shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back and here i can name the person here add your name here you can see here maybe i have to select black because that is more visible on green and then go to insert you can add some detailed text here equals lorem within bracket one let me reduce the size and here also I'm just adding the same text so that you can replace the text with your own text there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this, press control D and bring it to the 
end so that it comes back to the original position so let me just play once again so this is the slide number 10 when i click it comes first a message from ceo it goes back and when i click it comes the the next slide you can see here and when i click again it goes back likewise you can just do the rest of them the same method you need to apply it